Hello, my name is Anshika and welcome to my course Upload Files to Blob Storage using the .NET SDK. So in this session, we will firstly create a C-Sharp .NET Core application. After that, we will add the NuGet package microsoft.azure.storage.blob. Then we will read the file and write the code about how to upload the file to the blob storage. And in the end, we will validate if the file is successfully uploaded to the blob storage account. But firstly, let's go to the Azure portal and see where we are going to upload the files. So I have logged into the Azure portal and now let's go to the all resources. Here we see that I have created Anshika storage as a storage account and we have created this storage account in the previous session. Let's click on it. So here in the overview blade, we can see the resource group, status, location, performance access tier, replication and account kind related to the storage account we have created in the previous session. And now let's go to the container. Here we see that we have already created a container named document file in the previous session. And inside the container, we see that there are two files available, C Sharp Tutorial and Microsoft Wiki. And here is the location we will be adding another file using the .NET code. So let's quickly switch to Visual Studio and create the application. I am using Visual Studio 2017 to create the new .NET Core console application. So firstly, we will create a new project. So let's select the console application. Let's write the name as test upload and select a location and click on create. So before writing the code, let's add the NuGet package microsoft.azure.storage.blob from the NuGet library. So we can select that and click on install. Here we see that NuGet package is successfully installed. We can go to program.cs and start writing our code. For connecting to the storage account, we will firstly need a variable to store the connection string. And we can cut the connection string from the Azure portal. So on the Azure portal, if I go to Anshika storage, which is the storage account we have created, and if we go to the access key section, we can see that we have a connection string. We need to copy this connection string and paste it in our code. So we will create a variable access key of type string and paste our connection string over here. The next parameter which we will need is the container name. So for that, we will create another parameter with container name and we will copy our container name from the portal. So I have copied the container name which is the document file. Next parameter which we will need will be the file name which we want to upload. So I have some list of dummy files which we can upload so we can pick one file from them. So we can choose this technology file to upload into our blob storage. So let me copy the name and paste it in our code. File name is technology. Next, we will need the file path from which we will read our file. Next, we need to read our file from the location it is present. So this line basically reads the file from the location and converts it into the byte array. Now, let's add the object for cloud storage account and pass the access key into it. Cloud storage account is not available and it is present in microsoft.azure.storage which we have already added as a new get package and in the parse we will add the access key into it. Using the cloud storage account object we can create a new object by using the create block block client and create block block client basically creates a blob service client. For example we can write cloud blob client and it is giving the error so we will add the reference for microsoft.azure.storage.blob. Next using the cloud blob client object, we will get the container reference by using get container reference and we will pass our container name inside it. Next we will check if this container basically exists or not. We can do this by writing container object dot 
create container if not exist. So basically, we will create the container if it does not exist. And if it does not exist, we need to assign some permissions to the container. So we can add a if condition and inside that we will add some permissions to it. So for this, we can set the permission using dot set permission async method permission async and inside that we will create a new object for blob container permission and it will be a public access and we can give the access type of blob container off or unknown so we will set it to blob type now we know that the container is basically present in the storage account and if it is not it is created using the code create if not exist next we need to read the file and for that we need to do container object dot get blob blob reference and inside that we will pass the blob name and our file name is technology dot tocx so we will pass that next we need to set up the content type for this file so we will use file object dot properties dot content type so content type will be different for every kind of file so for getting the content type, I have copied some code and this code basically tells me by the file name what is the content type for this file. So for this file extension content type provider, we need to add the NuGet package, namely microsoft.asp.net core.static file. So we will again go to manage NuGet package and we will install this particular package. So from here, I will click on install. This is static file NuGet package is installed successfully. Now we can go to our program.cs and add the using statement. This is statement provider.getContentType basically takes the file name as an input and provides the file type. So we will use this file type into our content type. We have made a mistake over here. Instead of having get blob reference, we need to have get blog blog reference now we are all set to upload the file we will use file object dot upload file async from byte array and inside that we will pass the file bytes object in which all the byte array which is read from our file is present and the next parameter is the index which will be zero and next parameter is the count so our count will be file bytes dot length and using this particular method, our file will be uploaded. Next line, I have added for the file object dot URI dot absolute URI. The absolute URI basically gives us the exact URL where the file is uploaded. And we can add a debugger here and let's run this file. So I have added the debugger at the starting as well. So firstly, let's see what comes in the file byte. In the file bytes, we have all the data we have read from the file technology.docx. So here we have a container object. In that, we can see that we have the exact path up to our container name, which is the Anshika storage dot blob dot core dot windows dot net slash document file. And document files is the container name. Next, we need to check what we get in the file type. So I will click on continue and here we see that our file type is the application dot open XML office document word processing ML dot document which is basically a file type for a word type of file and now let's click on continue so we will see that our file is successfully uploaded and what is the location of the file the location of the file is Anshika storage and inside that we have the document files container inside that we have the file which is the name technology.docx now we can go over through the portal and see if our file is present over there so here i'm on the azure portal i have selected anshika storage as the storage account we have created let's go inside the container so document file is the container we have used and inside that we can see that a technology.docx file is successfully uploaded. Now we have validated that our file is successfully uploaded to the blob storage using the c .net code. So in this session, we have created the .NET Core console application. For uploading the file, we need the NuGet package microsoft.azure.storage.blob. Then we saw in the code 
how to read the file and upload it to the blob storage and we finally validated it by going to the azure portal thank you and in case of any questions please comment